hell? Am I Rick Savage or something? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hey, hey, what is going on this Saturday morning? It's fucking cold outside. I got a good night's sleep because my girlfriend wasn't here. Uh, she, uh, she and her daughter are off to uh, take a tour of, uh, of, college up north they are currently on that tour i think or headed to the no what time is it it's like 8 8 30 so they'll be on the tour in about uh oh 30 minutes or so so eight degrees fahrenheit here and windy yeah oh i want to be a florida boy again so bad so so bad so bad. That's my Val, Valley Girl voice. Uh, how is everybody's Friday? Everybody have a good Friday? I mean, you know, well, what's, what's going on in the world? It's, you know, I hate saying, did everybody have a good Friday? Because there are people that are having a really shitty uh, couple of days. So we'll keep our thoughts and prayers with all those uh, folks that are, uh, you know, that are between a rock and a hard place over there in the Ukraine. I think and cut. Let me check something here real quick because I don't want to blow your ears out. Let's switch it up. Switch up some music today. It's not going to be some rock. Let's uh, let's uh, start from the top. And all right, let's do some synth. Pretty good. How was yours? My yeah, like I said. Uh, I did some work, uh, did some little, little VR, which I don't know, depending on how things go, might do some a little later here. Um, you know, messed around in, in VMix, some got some animations done for, uh, David, um, had a little bit of dinner, watched a few episodes of anybody watch Vikings on the history channel. I think it was only on the History Channel. Uh, Travis Fimmel, Michael Hirsch was uh, the creator of that show. You had Travis Fimmel, um, Catherine, uh, uh, oh, what the heck, Catherine Winnick. Uh, Vikings, uh, the, 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 the original series is pretty good. Well, they got a, they've got a follow-up series on, um, Netflix that just started. So I started watching that. Started watching that. There's like three. That's three three kind of series now that that played on. There's also the Last Kingdom. <laughs> and we can finish it the third time through. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um 
The Last Kingdom is also kind of about, uh, and I don't, I, I think it's more of a fictitious story. I don't know. I can't, you know, I, I, I can never retain the actual details of everything. I know the Vikings, it's, it's, it's a f- more of a fiction than anything, but it's based on, you know, true events and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think re- they knew a whole lot about, about Ragnar Lothbrook. From what I understand, I could be wrong. I, uh, you know, you know, that, 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 you know, he, he was more uh, immortalized. He was a figure in Viking history. But th- a lot of detail is not necessarily known that I understand. I could be wrong. Correct me in the chat. Travis Fimmel now is on uh, Raised by Wolves on HBO. Where and Travis Fimmel, uh, if if you don't know who he is, he used to be a model, and, but... He is one of those guys who plays the same character every time. Every time. He's no um, Christian Bale. For sure. There's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, I don't know that Kevin, if Kevin was around, you know, he's a, a, a director. I mean, yeah, you know, you would, you, yeah. Okay, go ahead. What's up, James? Sorry, I didn't mean to, did not mean to miss uh, your entry. Welcome, sir. Welcome, everybody. James, Wicked, Steph. We have uh, Xanthi and Ryan. Appreciate you guys for, uh, Hanging it, hanging, hanging, hanging out with me this morning. Even if you aren't interested in VMix. Um, this is what I've been working on in VMix. So one of the things is uh, I want a single title. Uh a title that I incidentally created. Let's make sure I didn't, don't have my, you know, I wasn't working on any nudes or anything. You know, for my only fans. I mean, where did that sucker go? Where, where did it go? I got, I was, there's Kyle Rittenhouse. I had him in. Did a thumbnail on him. That's mostly what this stuff is. Is thumbnails for. Our great and wonderful friend. Clayton. Stayed warm in bed. That's what she did. She's like. Screw this shit. I'm not getting out of bed for a grim stream. Because you know. It's warm. That's what I would have done. Not that you guys should have, but that's what I would have done. Do, 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 do. Okay, VMix titles. Wait, okay, I save my pop-ups because I call them pop-ups. VMix titles. So, right. There's this bar, but I also created uh, the call-out template, Right. This is my call out template. That's one of them. That's not the final one. Let's let me find the other one. All right. So we created this one. And we imported it into the GT title designer, which is part of vMix. I added some text and we added some animation and everything to it. I like that animation, but I'm I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna take this and animate it in. Hey, what's up, Alex? Good morning. 
I'm going to animate it more in, um, no problem, Xanthi. Um, and After Effects at some point. Uh, and I've hooked up, hooked it up to the data source. So I have a, a, a data sheet right here that I can add URLs and the, the path to the icon that I want to use. You see, I was looking for the OnlyFans icon because that's one of my, and it's a joke, folks. I don't, I, I do have an OnlyFans. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's just funny. Got in an argument with somebody about OnlyFans a while back. Hey, hey, Michelle's here. You, you, people are asking about you. Steph was like, "Where's Michelle?" So glad you're here. I told him you just, you know decided to stay warm in bed you know my vmix social is not working this morning i don't know why i have not used apple motion because i don't own a mac i don't own a mac i might do something simple here ryan here in a bit uh after I kind of go over what I've been, what I've what I've been doing uh, to to show you how simple it is, because I would love to take my schedule that's on everything right uh, and be able to modify it so that um, so that I can change the dates just in the Google Sheet and then it updates all the other ones. Not that I'm going to update it a lot, you know, but it's just the the idea of being able to update things on the fly, just like, uh, just like this, right? I have the one data sheet that has, is going to have all my links in it. Right. And then I have a graphic that I created in Photoshop, but you can create something in Canva too. Uh, but you, you know, you got to make sure if you want to animate it, you got to make sure all your layers are, you know, but I brought it into the GT title designer. Uh, you know, added some a little flair to it, I guess. And it animates in, animates out, right? And then just to show you, like once I've once I've got that connected to all my uh data sources and stuff, um in in the tie in in my title i then set it up set up my stream deck so that i could call that title up and then put that data in you know for each one there's a variety of ways to do that I, and i i did it the simplest way that made sense for me but you know john simon uh john simon uh kevin Michael Reed, uh, two two people that uh, uh, use VMix scripting and shortcuts and triggers and all that stuff heavily um, have other other suggestions too. But so if I wanted to talk about my Twitter, because the best way to find out, you know, if I am going to be streaming besides the the, the YouTube notifications, or if I say, hey you know, I need to take the day off or, you know, cancel my stream. Uh, you should follow me on Twitter. So there's my Twitter, twitter.com slash Grimskull. You can follow me there, right? I do post on Instagram, so I got another button. It uses that same... It uses that same uh, template, the, the title. I just have my shortcut set up to where when I push the Instagram button, it switches the data to the, my Instagram and then calls up the button. Man, they did not get a reminder from you. See, there you go. I don't know what it, what is up with YouTube. Uh, no worries. I'm just... You know, just kind of started talking about. It. So I have an Instagram, right? 
and so I've set it so that my Instagram, I my Instagram comes up. I I I do have a Twitch channel. I don't stream to it at the moment. I may that again. That's another thing I'm thinking about doing. So you can go to twitch.com slash Grimskull and follow me there. Uh, and when I start streaming, you know. And I don't, I don't know why I have this in here, really. It's, uh, it's not. Uh, you, everybody's here, right? Everybody is here. Everybody is already here. You can subscribe. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the videos. I'll show you that in a second, Interfleet. Because I need to set up my web, my web button. And of course, like I was talking about before, you can find me on uh, OnlyFans, but not naked. OnlyFans.com slash Grimskull. There's nothing there. It's just a joke, you know. But you never know. Never know. Follow me there, and who knows? Yes, it's a spreadsheet. Google Sheet. And then, last but not least, but you can go follow my page over at uh, Facebook.com Grimskull. Because if I start multi-streaming again, I'll definitely stream to my page. But uh, I think if I start streaming on Twitch again, it'll be main. I'll probably mainly do the uh, uh, the metaverse. You know, my my uh, quest to gaming stuff. And uh, I'm I, I was talking to my kid who has a, uh, a, a she bought herself a streaming laptop. Not a streaming laptop, but a gaming laptop. Sorry. And uh, I said, pick out five games from Steam that are uh, co-op. And the dog, the dogs, uh, the, the kiddo is up. Bring the dogs downstairs. Roar. Roar. I don't know. I don't, my no, hopefully my noise gate is working. Probably not. Or the music covers it up. Yes, daggets. <laughs> What was its name? Now, Boxy, right? Boxy was the kid. What was the Daggett's? Didn't he have a name for the Daggett? Moppet? Something? Muffet, yes. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, yes, what I've done... Uh, Interfleet is vmix since vmix is on your machine right vmix is on your machine and basically these aren't really the, 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 google sheets looks at them as links because there's dot com slash whatever but i i did not put https in there at all so that basically just this is all just text i have my uh icons locally stored because vmix is on your machine there may be a way to kind of connect it to a google drive thing but you're kind of then trying to go out to the internet to get them so you don't really want to do that it's better if if your graphics are on your local machine so i have mine on uh, my iDrive, vMix shows titles in a folder called icons.
right? Live Assets Drive, which is my iDrive. I have vMix shows, titles, icons, and there are all my icons. Now, some of the, I need to make a folder real quick because some of these are assets for the icons like that, that, and that. The, no, the, the Google Sheet is actually up in Google. So uh, down in the, dis well, here, I'll pull it up for you. Pull this up for you. Because you, you'll have to get, you'll have to get an API key uh, uh, and go through. And if you want, if you watch that original like two streams ago right on how we set up the data source yeah um let me find that uh more to lori i do have a link right It should be in the description. That's how you can set set one up. All right. Google Sheets with, uh, with VMix data sources. No. Nope. I just I keep it in the same place. And the, here's the thing about it: it's like I I can use this one sheet. I, it's like I say stream URL. I should have named it. You know vmix data sources or something like that but uh maybe i'll fix that later so what i want to do today is uh real quick is find a i want a uh just a link like a a link icon I mean, I could create one, right? I mean, let's just let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. I am a graphic artist. See, I need to set a. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do that. Let's do that now. Let's do that now. Uh, I am going to. Let's see. I think it's in my triggers, so I need to go to my titles. Triggers. Okay, yes. So. I need to set a title on that. So on overlay in, overlay input to out. Yada, 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 515,000. All right, that's what I want to set that one to. So let's, uh, let's go to my trigger. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it was on overlay in. Overlay Oop. on. Now I done forgot. Morning, Doctor Energy. Uh, title. Nope. 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 What was that? Gosh dang it. Okay. Everybody, remember this. Remember this for me. Overlay, okay, on overlay and then overlay input. On overlay and then overlay input. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. On 
on overlay in over oops, let's do all over lay over lay jesus overlay i i have i think overlay to out overlay to out delay 15 add Okay, so what that should do is on that particular title, I've set a trigger, so it'll only last 15 seconds, so I don't have to worry about, you know, and it should use all the animation and everything, so let's try that. One, two, three four mm. 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 12 all right awesome and it should work on every one of these now right now though they, they will whoop. am i i think i am maybe peeking my mic let's uh, it doesn't show I'm peaking here, but uh, that doesn't mean it's not peaking in my my master. Turn my mic down just a bit. There we go. All right. How's that? A little better? A little better? Just a bit? turn my gain down just a hair how's that am i better softer i can't hear myself in my uh in my ears half the time so hopefully i'm not double audio either all right cool thank you sir yes peaking means to that a bit flat yeah i gotta go in at some point and really dial in my audio uh like like you know kevin came in the other day and helped me uh because i was um using what did what was oh it was with my other mic my road the road the, these but uh yeah I could go I should go in and kind of do some dialing in we're always tweaking with stuff okay so all right this stuff is firing off good twitch hey what's up punky um Stay up for a little bit longer and got the Twitch logo in there. YouTube. That one works now. Hey, what's up, Jason? How you doing? Facebook. And again, if I want to take those off, I can just hit the button earlier. So, but now it won't be stuck on screen. Uh, I wanted to show you this today, but my uh, my damn freaking I don't know what's wrong with VMix Social at the moment. VMix Social is not showing any of your stuff, any of your chats. My dog. Well, I've got three of them. Uh, and one run off. Punky. Punky. Come here, Punky. 
Punky. Come here. Come here, Punky. Oh, here she comes. I heard the... Uh... Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Punky. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. It's really, it's not my dog. I mean, it, it it's my dog. It's the family dog, but the, the, I inherited this dog with the girlfriend. It came as a package deal. So, good girl. I think she's a pit boxer mix. Yes, we are, James. All right, good girl. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have another uh, golden retriever, which was a dog that I. <laughs> I'm a dog guy. All right. I am. I'm a dog guy. I love dogs. I was a canine handler in the Air Force for four years. For those who don't know, I'm a former uh, uh, U.S. Air Force uh, veteran served, uh, two years in the Philippines, two years, uh, at Whiteman air force base and did a six month tour during desert storm. And, uh, uh, I was a canine handler, patrol dog handler for two years in the Philippines, a detector dog handler for my last two years. Uh, I got out because my wife at the time that's been married twice. Yes, this is, uh, you know, everything you wanted to know about Grimm, but we're afraid to ask. Um, my first wife, we got divorced when we got out of the Air Force, but I got out of the Air Force because she wanted to get out of the Air Force because uh, she didn't like it anymore because she was in the Air Force. But anyway, uh, you are welcome. It was my honor to serve. Uh. So I, I'm just saying the, the, the reason I ranted there is because I love dogs. I'm a dog guy. I'm a dog guy. Um, had English bulldogs. Yeah, I, I like it. I liked it too. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Steph. Um, had, had some English bulldogs had, uh, a uh, Alaskan Malamute, which was one of my favorite dogs, and then I ended up getting a, a a Belgian Malinois, which is a working breed that is used in police work, and 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 uh, and agility work and all that stuff. Again, Stephanie, it's it was my honor to serve. Thank you know I appreciate it. Uh, you know, of course those, all those dogs, you know, you know, they went over the rainbow bridge and, uh, when I, uh, I got, we got another dog for my daughter, my kiddo and with a kind of a, it looks like a midnight. It's a, um, kind of a Rottweiler something mix. It's not as big. It's not big. She's not real big, but uh, she's got those kind of color color markings on her. And that's my uh, my kiddo's dog. Um, and then uh, I was drafted to take on a third dog when my girlfriend's mother uh, had to move, had to or moved into a a. moved into a uh, apartment that did not allow for large dogs. Cer certainly, Lori, it was my honor to serve. It was my honor to serve. My dad was in the Air Force. Um, you know, swore up and down. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't going to join the military because I ain't cutting my hair. Uh, then I needed a job. <laughs> uh, 
I was in law enforcement. Okay. Uh, doggy time over. So, VMix Social is not working there. I would show you, but I will pull it up. This is, I, I, uh, let me look at my chat highlight. Okay, so my old chat, chat highlight look like this, right? It's not working because I'm using something different now. But I'm getting rid of this kind of painterly look, right? I'm going to get rid of that painterly look. I did. I restarted it. I, uh, I restarted it like three times like I just shut it down I just shut it down hello Jeremy what is going on the jazz show folks I've been remiss in uh in catching some of uh Jeremy's uh, streams but uh I always see the notifications so hope everything is well with you and the fam Jess If you like uh, if you like a good variety stream and sports and gaming and uh, go check out uh, the Jay Show. I do hope uh, Karis and the uh, little one are uh, doing well and that uh, you're having a, uh, a good weekend. Appreciate you popping in. So yeah, that's the old. <laughs> Rugby. The closest I got was soccer. I mean, you know, football. Football over there, soccer in the States. I loved playing soccer. You know, when I was, uh, uh, that was my sport in high school. That along with lunch and girls. Um, so yeah, so that is the old, the old comment box. Uh, or title. But I have the, the new one, of course. Well, I have a new one. Boop, boop, boop. Which is this, sort of like David does it. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate that, Steph. I'm glad you're here. And it's it's not showing. Let's. Uh, I, I'm going to go to VMix. I'm going to VMix social. Uh, it says it's connected. I'm. I turned. Uh, I've turned YouTube on. And of course, I forgot about this, right? Because you can click on that and then choose what you want. So now that'll start working, right? Nice. He's one of the big guys. There we go. Now it's populated. <laughs> it's always something simple, right? So basically, uh, basically, Interfleet said, have you tried turning it off and on again, right? So... Right? I think I need to set a trigger for this. Did the and it's it's like automatically showing, right? It's not something weird's going on. It's because I had had it triggered or I had it up already, right? So let's take it down. There we go. 
I think that was what the problem was. James's last workday is uh, we March 30th. Do I have a trigger on that that's making it go too fast? I do not. So I'll have to go in and fix that. Because that definitely, definitely does not stay up long enough. Uh, I need a... Uh, I need to figure out... Yeah, I need to clean my desk. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Okay. Okay. So what I did to get it working, Interfleet, is uh, I I forgot that. So I started it back up, and then I went up here, and you know it usually says uh, it says on here, but I, you know, turned it on. Eighty, I got 80, 80 comments right. But then if you click, what I didn't do was make sure it, it was using the right chat, right? the right stream if you hit the icon for the particular platform it pulls up this display and then you you can pick the lot i had the the wrong live chat was in here once i once i went in here to assure that this was the right chat and clicked okay it boom started working boom Thirty-four years, man. That is a long time. All right, so now we're back in business. But for another stream, I'm going to go back in and 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 set up a stream because because I want to be able to control that with uh, Stephanie, police officer, police officer, 1988. That was my original career goal, James. I uh, I was uh, wanting to be in law enforcement as a as a career, and I I mean, if I would have stayed in the Air Force, it would have been. I got out. Unfortunately, moved to an area where I didn't know a lot of people. I did uh, work. Uh, uh, security at a college campus, which, you know, interacting with the students uh, at night when locking up the buildings, I got to know the, uh, the, uh... wow, we got a lot of, a lot of cops in here, <laughs> a lot of cops. A lot of cops. Well, I worked security at a local university, and I would lock up the computer labs. And this is back when uh, uh, Al Gore had just invented the internet in like 1993, four, right? That's how I discovered. Uh, pulled everyone over. Everyone over. Uh, I discovered the internet. Uh, started messing around with uh, creating web pages, uh, and that sparked my interest in wanting to be a better, a better graphic designer, because. Web pages sucked back then. So I used my GI Bill to get a graphic design and visual communications degree. I got two degrees, two associates, one in graphic design, one in uh, uh, multimedia. 
so here I am. Here I am. That was that. Real quick, I want to thank everybody for kind of hanging out, showing up. Uh, uh, you saw Alex in the uh, in the chat, so uh, don't forget to go check out Alex and Danny over at the Politech Show. And Interfleet is here, so uh, if you like retro sci-fi, be sure to go check out uh, Interfleet Broadcasting. It, uh, uh, Interfleet Broadcast is actually it's Tipsy Toaster. That's that's uh that's what his handle is. But he uh, the, he's logged in through their channel. So uh, uh, long distance cousin apparently Chris uh, Chris Moore because my last name's Moore. So so all right. And today we're kind of messing around with uh, VMix and titles and data sources. <laughs> look, look. I'm, I, you know, I am pro, Alex, I am pro law enforcement. I, I'm pro law enforcement, but I am uh, at heart. A libertarian. And all, all my law enforcement brothers out there, I do love them. There's, you know, it's a definitely a hard job. Right? Got a lot of bad apples. They are used in the wrong way. Plenty of times. But, you know, 99.9% .9 of them, a few, you know, folks that, A, join the military or join any of the, uh, uh, any emergency services. Um, you know, there are bad actors. And people above them that, you know, you use them for not so good stuff. So, you know. Uh, another Ryan. Uh, well, I, I got to I got to agree with that. I mean, they were on the they are on the wrong side of that. My daughter uh, real interested in digital art. Knowing what you know, what advice would you offer as far as direct to gently direct toward as to what you see being needed in the field? She's she's fourteen. Uh, take art classes. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know what her focus is right now, Jason in, in high school. Um, and, and there are digital art classes that, that, uh, are offered. Uh, my daughter, my, my kiddo took, took a few. Uh, and she's, she, she, she is a way better. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, art, get into taking art classes. Um, pick a software, pick a software package. Now, you know, of course, obviously I'm into Adobe. 
uh, because I mean, there, there wasn't, I'm, when I was started doing this, that's all there was. It was Adobe, and then you had Microsoft Paint, right? Uh, there was an, there was another couple of uh, uh, packages here and there. Um, Macromedia had um, some software, but but you know, there's there's uh, there's several art alternatives now, Jason. Uh, that are uh, are uh, that are less uh, costly. And there are free options out there too. Um, you know uh, and if you really, 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 really uh, you know, if she wants to go down the path of, you know, a digital designer and you don't have the feel like in your homeschooling, you don't have the knowledge to be able to teach her that stuff. I highly, highly, highly suggest I highly suggest uh, LinkedIn learning. LinkedIn learning here. Let me, um, get the, get a, get a link, right? Uh, it has a free trial. Uh, yeah, they, they do have competitions out there uh, still. Um, you get a free month, 30-day trial uh, to try it out. Now, and the thing about LinkedIn Learning, uh, it's... Uh, la, 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 la. Let me sign in. I... Oh. There we go. What am I signed up for here? We'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, we'll just show you, show you LinkedIn learning. LinkedIn learning. I, it's, you have business, creative technology certifications. If you go to creative, there's just tons of topics, right? There's, you know, I, I don't know what AAC is at the moment or, or it's yet yeah, drafting. It's what it is. Uh, animation and illustration, you know, how to draw, right? There's drawing classes. There's graphic design classes. Uh, motion graphics, which is what I do. I do motion graphics, a little bit of some animation and graphic design. Um, I've done web design. video. I do video editing, right? I, I'm not a big photographer. All of this stuff, it's, it's included with, I believe... I believe there's a couple, um, what couple type of, uh, where's it at? I'm trying to find out how much it is. Does it say, I don't think it says on the, the they never give you that information up front. It's always, uh,
Oh, account type. I manage. Oh, learning. Sorry. Settings. Really? Did they? What did they move it? Did they move it? Where is that? My learning in progress. I'm trying to find. There's the settings. Switch your plan. Okay, manage. Account. Manage subscriptions. Okay, that's why. Uh, it's 30 bucks. All right, 30 bucks a month. Okay. Yeah. Thirty bucks a month. Uh, what? That's not available. What are you talking about? I don't want to cancel my plan, you mole, dude. Well, all right. Uh, you can sign up for. Uh, there, there's a couple of different pricing options. A lower pricing option uh, that you don't get to download, like example files. Okay. Uh, if you have the 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 thirty dollar option, you can download uh, to the tutorial files to to go along with it. You know, all the course files and stuff. So. But uh, yeah, I it used to be Lynda.com, which Linda uh, Wieldman used to be a as well. She still is, but she's a web de web designer back in the day. Started this uh, uh, website called Lynda.com to to kind of teach people. Started recruiting instructors, and it just blew up. And then LinkedIn Learning bought it. Uh, LinkedIn Learning bought them out. Uh, but all the courses are there. They stay up to date. And, and it again, the value you get out of for 30 bucks a month is not only just for, you know, what you're looking to. I mean, if you, you know, there's business courses, there's, there's self-development courses, uh, um, you know, courses on a variety of topics and business creative and all that stuff. Uh, and you can cancel any time. There's no big commitment or anything. But uh, it is what I suggest to anybody who asks me, hey, Derek, Grimm, whatever your name is, if if I want, I'm going to go for this job that, you know, is had to do graphics work, but I don't know this software too well. What is your suggestion? And my suggestion is always, if you got 30 days, sign up for the free trial and hammer, 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 hammer LinkedIn Learning. Because they their courses are, they're not just little, you going to, I mean, there's a lot on YouTube also, but these are structured courses, okay? They're not like, Hey, how do you do this one little thing, right? Jason, they're, they're they're like they're like courses. They're not like, hey, how do you put a stroke on this? You know, a one-off. They're gonna, it's gonna go from you know, Photoshop 101. You know, Photoshop for for beginners. You know, Illustrator for beginners. Um, general courses like what. What is graphic design? All that kind of stuff. So anyway, all right. I will get off the soapbox. But yes, if she is really interested in that and, and you know, you need someone helping you teach her. And there's certificates. They have certificates. 
and everything. So you can pick your uh, like your learning path, and it will suggest courses for you. So anyway, so yeah. Now I can't breathe. All right, James. Thanks for thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it, sir. And uh, you are quite welcome. Have a good weekend. Any other questions about anything real quick? Uh, now that I've went off topic about 5 million times. Right? Oh, Xanthi was here a little while ago. Give her a shout out. She may st she's probably still lurking, but my good friend Xanthi. What are so what are some use cases for the data link? You mean data sources, right? Yeah. I love the tool, but need some ideas on how to best use it. Possibly forms, etc. Need to research. Love new tools, but need to know how to best use it. Well, like I said, you know, lower thirds, right? But it's quite all right, Jason. Everybody knows that I I do this a lot. I, I, I do this a lot. In fact, you ask Interfleet, ask, you know, ask Alex, ask Jeremy, anybody who's, you know, followed this stream for a long time. I do this a lot. I go, squirrel. So, no worries. If Kevin Michael Reed were here, he would be like, get back to work. Why aren't you working? So. Use cases. Use cases for Interfleet. Um, just think of any... Any information you're going to use. And again, Kevin, Kevin and 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 uh John would have better way, at, you know, have have used it a lot more than I have. But in your show, you could set up a sheet like uh when you're when you want to give information about just like just like the comments, right? Just like my 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 social comments. Let me go back and find that, right? You can set up a screen that's attached to your uh just like that. That's a why is that it that is attached to a, a Google Sheet, right? That has the name of your guest, what they do, and a description. Say you managed to get a picture, right? And you set up a folder. You set up a folder just like just like this because this is pulling things in from YouTube, right? Because it's using YouTube as a data source. But you can use that Google Sheet to, to have your guest's information in it. You know, you, you do your research. You put in... You know, you have your sheet, you have your, you know, your guest name, guest picture, you know, uh, guest, uh, you know, mine's URL act, icon and action, but you could have, you know, description or, or synopsis or something, right? That's just kind of, yes, it can. It can. 
this is just one way of doing it, right? I mean, that's why it's, it's really hard to say, you know, use cases. I mean, for me, the good use cases is to put information in this because it may change. Or I can, I can add more if I need to. Uh, what I'm about to do. What I'm about to do. What I'd really like to do is figure out how to, you know, set up my, uh, let's set up a trigger, set up a trigger. Let's set up a trigger for this. Uh, this is uh, on tra on trans on overlay in. We wanted overlay to out. Yes. Uh, overlay to out. Overlay to out. Uh, what, what's it? Is it 30 seconds? I think 30 seconds is a good one. So we're going to add that. All right. So if I fire, if I fire what Joe just said off, boom, one, two, three, four, five, yikes. That, uh, lasted did not last long enough. Yes. You, you, well, you can set it up a key to, to, to go back and forth between those and that's what uh that's what uh, uh john and uh kevin were talking about before that you can set it up you know even with if you're not hooked up to a data sheet you put them in through that but yes you can have it switch to the next one in the row But we're going to do something that, that, uh, um, yes, if you, if you watch this, if you, I'll have to do it quickly, right? Watch this. Now, I've got animations on them. Come on, get out of there. All right. Get away. Get out. All right. If I switch fast enough, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm on the wrong one. Good. That didn't start my rock music. Oh, good. Uh, if I do this fast enough, let me go to. Now I've got mine set up on uh, across the stream deck, but you can set, I guess you're supposed to be able to set a button to like go next, next, next back, back, back. Right. But I can press my, my Twitter one. And if I do it fast enough, it's switch. Did you see it switch?
Now I've got mine set to, to when when you push it once and then push it again, it will take it off. But you see that it's switching it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. Uh Jeremy. Oh, chicken and dumplings. I love chicken and dumplings. Yes, you should be able to uh, pull up the CTA. Right? And have it up and then go. Do you see how it switched? You know, mine mine has it to clear it and all that stuff. But yes, you you can do that. Uh, I think I don't know that he did data sources. All right, so let me see. Well, let's hope. I think. Wow, that, there we go. So we have this uh, be right back, right? What are you using now, Jeremy? What are you using now? OBS? Restream, stream yard, lab, stream yard. I think, I, I really think with the amount of stuff you do, Jeremy. With the amount of stuff you do, um, there is a cost. There is a cost involved in VMix. All right, there. It's it's. Uh, VMix is kind of one of the most flexible. It's it is it is it is like a broadcast level software. Um, and, and really, yeah, if you were wanting to take your, your kind of shows to the next level, you could build out all your shows in vMix, uh, and it has scripting triggers, shortcuts. Uh, it works well with, uh, you know, there is a learning curve, uh, but there's lots of information out there on how to, how to use it. Um, you know, David Foster, of course, has a lot of stuff about vMix that he uses, but you go straight to the source. It's always being updated and improved. Um, I, you know, because you do sports stuff, I, you know, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think it would be a, a, a good option to move to for you, Jeremy, for sure. Because you do a lot of shows and 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 you work with uh, a lot of data through sports, uh, and and the like the ringside report right that network John Simon like you know he uses VMix. Um, but you know, just it's it's not necessarily cheap, right? And there, but you can get a free trial, right? I think you get a free 60 day trial, if I believe. Jeremy, so you can download it, mess with it for 60 days, see what you think.
So yeah, I would I would I would say it would definitely be a, a a great tool for for your use case. You know, if you were just somebody that like, hey, I'm just gonna start streaming on YouTube. You know, like we had the guy uh, Psych was his name in David's stream the other day. You know, he's gonna do wanted to do thrift. Uh, uh, thrift, Th uh, you know, go live streaming thrift shops and stuff, and it's like you know, yeah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't suggest uh, you know, VMix for that right off the bat. But uh, for you, Jeremy, I yeah, it would, it's a uh, definitely going to be something that you're going to find a lot of good, great tools to use in your productions. I think uh, that's the one thing I miss about my uh, my my ex-wife. <laughs> Real quick, Jeremy. Uh, I got a web one now, don't I? Where is it? From? There it is. Uh, real quick, so you can get a lot. You can you can go the subscription route, which is like fifty bucks a month, USD. Uh, or the one time and get updates you know you can actually start at any of these levels jeremy like it, you can get the basic for 60 bucks you get only four inputs which is not a lot uh so i would actually go for the hd version but any of these you get and say you you find it lacking you can then just pay the difference for the upgrade. Most people go for the HD. I uh, have no idea what I have. I think I have the Pro. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on VMix Pro, uh, but. That is uh, through D David has a relationship with VMix, so he's uh, has extra keys uh, for his team members. And you, you do. You, you you do multi you know guest streaming too right I mean so it, it comes with what's called vmix calls but the HD you you, you can get uh, a thousand inputs you can use uh, a thousand cameras or NDI inputs why did I go back to my What? I don't I don't know what I'm pressing. There we go. See, this will happen again, Jason. It's like you know, I got a, Jeremy said, "Hey, should I use VMix?" Now I'm off on another tangent, right? Uh, you can do recording, you, you uh, recording, streaming, uh. You can you can stream to three simultaneous live streams, uh, but uh, most people will use restream. If you're going to go to Facebook, and that's another thing, you probably would still need restream like that for Facebook, Twitch, and uh, if you want to three, you know, uh, 
Well, HD, you only get one caller, but uh, the 4K, you get four callers. But if you go with the subscription, right, you can have up to eight callers. So, you know, I don't know. The subscription might be your best option on this. But you can you can you can uh, stream up to three other places simultaneously. So, but if you're using more than that, like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, which that's kind of what everybody streams to, unless you're doing Twitter, uh, you get the title designer, which I've been going over some, right? Standard. Uh, they have what are the playlists. I haven't messed with those two. But yeah, you get vMix call. Scripting. Some of this stuff, like I don't I have no clue what it is, but but the big thing about uh vMix is that that you know you get your shortcuts uh that that you can use with your stream deck. You have triggers, like if you when you want to start your stream, you can set up triggers that when you hit your one button, it it hits your countdown timer, mute your mic, starts your music, does a variety of other things that you want. Anyway, go look at it. No worries, no worries. Hopefully, some of my information was actually <laughs> worth worth it. I, 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 I want to be a lifeguard. Help, help, help. All right. So, let's go back to GT Title Designer. Because what I was going to do, right? Let's do just kind of another simple, 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 simple. Okay. So this is... This is... What is this, right? What is this? my be right back screen i want to create another rectangle because in the left panel okay So far, nobody that uh, we've talked to about going to vMix has went to vMix and then, uh... yo, Nova, how are you, sir? Folks, my friend Nova Charter, uh, Star Trek expert. And fellow content creator over on Twitch. Go check him out. Along with him and his uh, his wife, little cute girl. They're both uh, variety streamers, you know, streaming some games and just chatting. And a uh, little cute girl does uh, some cooking. Welcome, 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 Nova. Glad to see you. Hope everything is going well. Oh. Are you, are you feeling the aches and pains? All right. Let's get this black screen. Oh. Oh, I need another. I need another layer. Let's make another layer. And 
we'll put that in that layer and then move that layer down. There we go. So you can see everything. That's the whole reason I did that. So what I want to do is I have this scheduled down here. Right? I have my schedule. I have a schedule here. Uh, there's a schedule on my start screen. There's a schedule on my end screen. I might even want to make a schedule that... Uh, I might want to create just, you know, a, a screen to do that, you know, in general. Hey, Grim, I will check out her cooking stream. Yes, please do. She will appreciate it. One thing I want to do is get rid of this atrocious buy me a sushi. graphic uh, and let's do something real quick I'm going to take that. I'm going to image. I'm going to trim it. Photoshop. Now I've got that. Uh, I am just going to. And then I'm going to control S that out to its own graphic. Save. Uh, I want to go to my live assets. Uh, Pop-ups. I'm going to save it in my pop-ups. This is a, uh, this is, um, I'm just going to call this a text bar. Okay. I'm going to close that. I don't want to save it because I want to keep what I had in it. I'm going to close that template. There's another bar. I'm going to get rid of that one. Only fans. We don't need that anymore. Let me close this stuff. I'm not using Photoshop at the moment. Let me. All right. So I'm then going to import. That pop-up graphic, right? It is, it is huge. All right. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom so we can see our text. So I'll have to do some, uh, let's uh, do a little bit of adjusting here. Do you like the content? Uh, let's use that same color. It's kind of a creamy color. More colors. What is that color? Let's go. Let's. All right. We're going to grab that from the URL there and then go here and 
more colors and then paste it here. Boom. All right, cool. There we go. Let's do some housekeeping though. Where's that URL? URL to really name things better. URL, text block. Damn it. Can I can I can I move the panel? That's the whole panel. Buy me a sushi. I am not seeing where that's at. I mean, what is that rectangle there? Okay, I don't want to rectangle. Move it. I want to. We want to move it. Move it. Sorry. My bad. Not the feats. Not the feats. What's up? What was the guy? The other guy's name? I mean, that's King Julian, but what's the other guy? Maurice? Not the feats. All right. I fixed that atrocious thing. But what I want to do is down here at the schedule, right? My schedule. I've already got text blocks for each of those, right? I've already got text blocks. I'm going to name this as a uh, time zone, right? Time zone. The next one is, well, that's Sunday. Sunday. Sunday underscore time. Saturday underscore time. Thursday underscore time. That is Tuesday underscore time, right? But I'm going to put, uh, let's see. Let's. I think we can control D and duplicate that. Maybe not. No. Can we do copy and paste? We can, yes. But we're gonna we're gonna go over and name that. Um, name that Monday time, right? Monday time. I still had it selected and it tried to copy that in there. I'm going to rearrange these a bit. Monday, Tuesday. We don't have a Wednesday. So let's take Tuesday, control C, control V. And let's move that over to Wednesday. I'm going to drag that under and then drag Monday up. Let's, uh, Make this Wednesday. Let's drag Thursday up and then Sunday down. So now we've got everything in, um, ooh, I forgot Friday. Uh, no, Rebecca, no Rebecca Black comments, please. I'll leave those to David. Friday, yay sure, that's what we should call it, fry yay end, all right. All right, so we got our time zone. We got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay. 
Interfleet, are you still here? Are you still here? I am going to go back to my Google Sheet, right? I am going to create, I'm going to create, I'm going to add another sheet, right? So these are what would be considered tables in database. Uh, so we're going to say uh, start time. Actually, I'm going to say start time. And then I'm going to say uh, day. And then we're going to go Monday. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday. Monday, I am off. Tuesdays at 8 p.m. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that and see what happens. We may need to come back and change that format. off right now it's just you know when you do that it's going to put it in as you know a time and it i may need to change it so excuse me off 8 8 a.m 8 A.M. A.M. Okay. So we have a sheet. Bold. Bold. We have a table. We're going to call this table. Uh, stream underscore schedule. Schedule. Right? Stream underscore set schedule. Let's pull back up uh, our uh, GT title designer. Uh, let's save. Get rid of that rectangle real quick because I don't want that to be there. If I if I pull up, be right back, right? Well, first I got to go in and uh, let's reload. Reload. It didn't say what happened. It did not save that. Reload. What? What's going on? All right. See you, Joe. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. We'll, we'll uh, catch you later. Uh, cut. All right. Reload. There we go. I think. Oh. Nope. Still. Reload. I got some notifications. I mean, that should be showing up, right? It should be showing up. File, file, save. All right. Reload. 
I don't know why it keeps reloading the main screen, but okay. All right, if at first you don't succeed, let's go and general change recent. Okay, there we go. That's my title, but we can go to our be right back screen, cut. All right, I need to get rid of that black rectangle. Let's do the, okay. Now file save. We can reload. Actually, we need to go to our title and reload. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we're cooking. You can't see, sorry. It's okay. I just need to, I had to fix something. So, so my be right back screen, right? There you go. What, what I'm pointing out is now we've got our, our time zones. all across the bottom, right? So our time zones are across the bottom. I'm, I'm going to shut that down. Then I'm going to uh, do go to the title editor, right? For each one of these, I don't, I don't need time zone text, but Monday text, we're gonna go to data source url data source we're gonna we're going to pick stream schedule and then i'm gonna pick the start time and we want row uh i believe okay so zero one we want row one no zero wait row two will say okay yeah, we want row one it says off and click okay All right Now, if I go to my Be Right Back screen, it says off. Look, it says off. Now, let's try. Let's try Tuesday, right? We're going to go to click on our Tuesday, go up to our data source. And this is kind of tedious. Stream schedule. Start time, 2, and it should say 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah, it's, now you get it, right? Now you get it. Now, now I'm do, it's very simple, right? It's, I'm, I'm doing a very simple thing with it. But you can kind of extrapolate that maybe, you know... <laughs> Because I'm thinking in terms now of like David had, we put the stream schedule up, you know, he puts the screen, stream schedule up and he does it with Canva, right? And so every, anywhere he's got the stream schedule, he's got to go and change it on that graphic. But if we do it in... Uh, if you do it in vMix, 
with this and overlay it over that graphic, which is what I'm doing basically, he changes his schedule so much that you can go in and change it when you need and change it. And you use that everywhere, right? You, you overlay that one schedule or, you know, wherever you have it attached, it can change it everywhere. Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. You can set up a sheet that's like a calendar, right? And you and look if you if you're a if you're a spreadsheet person that knows how to build spreadsheets, right? Let me find this video for you. This will, I mean, maybe this will really, really blow your socks off, uh, Interfleet. Because this may, it may do a way better job of helping you understand the potential, right, of the data sources. I, I am so glad I don't pull up my YouTube in uh, on screen. I everybody would look at me like, what? What the hell do you watch? Okay, here's a link. A link. Um, it's the guy, uh, Sp Sportscast is the guy. Um, adding data elements to templates in vMix Title Designer. Uh, let's see. Wait, that's one. That's not the one that I wanted to show, though. That is not the actual one that I really was looking at, looking at showing. Let me find him. Let me find that one. That's just one video. This, this one, however, this is uh, J, J Nor, uh, J K N O R. This, this right here, he's using a Google Sheet, right? And he's got it overlaid. All these elements change. All these elements change. He has a pre a master sheet, right? But then he has other tables set up, right? So he can select a team. He can select uh you know both the, the home team and the way team. If it's a men's team or a women's team or what have you. When he does that, it switches the helmets. Why did it kind of go? There we go. It switches the helmets. Uh, he go, he can go in and pull, you know, do a, you know, set a schedule, all that stuff, right? So I would suggest looking at this or, you know, seeing, I mean, if you're, if you're a spreadsheet person, this, this stuff should be like easy, he's, but he's got all kinds of information that he pulls in and changes, and then it changes it on the fly. 
And the reason I'm saying that is because you can have a uh, what you one of your sheets is going to be the main the, the count the final calendar, right? But then you're going to have other sheets that you can that you can change. Uh, well, yeah, 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 right. So, so you know what I'm talking about, right? You can create like let's go back to Google Sheets, right? I can create a sheet, right? I'm going to name this uh, months, right? Months. Months. Yeah, Jeremy, for you, yeah, that's, again, I forgot, Jeremy. It's like that because you do a lot of sports stuff. Oh, my God. This is probably just right up your alley right because look we have what we're looking at right is he's got this little you know the teams the helmets change scores change all this on this bar down here that changes you know when you know when, when he updates information and all that it's 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 crazy And unfortunately, I'm a visual guy, right? So <laughs> me uh, learning office programs has always been hard for me. I, I I love working in the graphics programs. I I was always a design guy. I'm always a design guy. That's why I got out of web design because you needed to have people that knew the des how to do design design it user interfaces you know to make it look nice but then you need the coding folks right and then you need the database folks i just my brain i'm like johnny mnemonic right i my brain only holds so much and then i have to start dumping <laughs> dumping data right all right so basically what i was saying was months right so we're gonna go Jan, Feb, Mar, April, May, right? So we got our, our months table, right? We got a months table. I'm going to create another sheet. And this is the, you know, we're going to call this the uh, calendar and I'm going to do this real rudimentary, right? I'm going to take these three. I'm going to, uh, I think we can make them one cell, right? Can we? Uh, 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 maybe. Uh, I don't know. Format, merge cells. There we go. Merge all. All right. So we got, all right. And we're going to call, uh, this is month, right? And so you know where I'm, you know where I'm going with, right? We want to take this cell and create the data, a data, right? We want, uh, what do we want? We want to be able to pull in like the data from that to the months, right? Oops. You know what I'm talking about in spreadsheets, right? Pulling data into merge cells. That being said, let's let's unmerge it, okay? Let's unmerge it, right? Let's go back because here, here's, here's, again, here's my, my design thinking is, I'm thinking in design wise, right? I'm thinking design wise, but we don't need to do that. It's a calendar, right? We have, let's say 
you know, month, right? Month. But we want to, the data, what do we want? We want, uh, 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 I'm trying to think, how do we pull in data from months into, I know there's a way to do it in Excel. I'm not that familiar with, uh, insert, maybe insert sheet. No. Is it a pivot table? Pivot table. Existing sheet. That's what it is. Uh, months, right? Stream underscore URL slash months. Create. Will that work? Oh. All right. So you're saying function. Where is functions? Okay, there we go. Months. No. Calendar. You're saying function equals because we want to sort as kind of a sort table, right? We want to. Select cell, then type equals. Oh, okay, yeah. Equals. Equals what, right? Equals months? No. So if you pull uh, from any source, including URL, why not just link to a live Google Calendar? That could be possible. That may be possible. Uh, That uh, could quite be possible. All right, anyway. You get where I'm going. You get where I'm going, right? You get where I'm going. You're going to have your calendar. You're going to set it up to pull, you know, the month, right? And then you're going to have like, you know, one two three the all the days of the month right all the days of the month i mean you could probably do it the other way right you could do, go month right the idea uh, the idea is to, to to create a a a the calendar and then you would you you would basically pull in you know those days you know you know on on the second of whatever month right you're going to have uh come on you're going to have edward james almost from uh bsg fame right
You see where I'm going, though. You see where I'm going, Interfleet. My my limited scope of how to work, you know, anything, any complex uh, spreadsheets uh, is hindering my progress. But anyway, I'm going to delete these. Delete the calendar. I'm going to delete this month. Okay. Could be, but we're, we're wanting to do, we're wanting to do this to, uh, we're wanting to pull, be able to pull this into like something like this, right. And display the data in a, um, as Interfleet was alluding to, uh, a more, uh, 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 visually appealing manner, right. Not just pull in the calendar, uh, but pull in the data from the calendar so that we can style it. Right? That's what we're wanting to do. Anyway, making sense. You see what the, 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 the is the use case scenario really kind of hitting you now, Interfleet? Is that hitting you? Ten o two. Ten o two. Good morning. All right. I don't have anything to do. Nobody's got any chores to do. Nobody's got any laundry to do. So I don't have to stop if I don't want to. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to. Did I get another uh, uh, sub? No, that's Ashley Williams. All right. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that sushi. I do appreciate it, Interfleet. All right. I'm gonna gonna do the be right back. I'm gonna hit the be right back. I'm gonna get me some more. Uh, you know, the warm coffee stuff. So about a, about 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, we're going to keep, we are going to keep going. We are going to keep going, but I need to refill my coffee because, you know, I love Smee's my coffee. But uh, everybody that's, everybody that's, uh, you know, been hanging out with me, I really appreciate it. Um, as you saw, if you find anything, <laughs> I step in a lot of that stuff too, Jason. I'm just telling you. Uh, everybody that's here, you know, if you're a content creator, like I said, I really appreciate uh, yeah, the support Interfleet. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're getting anything out of this and you feel it worthy, you know, feel free to go to, you know, buy me a sushi. Did, I got I to gotta actually fix that one too. The buy me a sushi call out. I think I got rid of it. Maybe I'll fix that when we come back. But uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get me some coffee. Everybody go stretch your legs for about a minute or so, you know. And then we'll uh, get back into doing uh, some more of this uh, data source stuff. But uh, just thanks for hanging out. If it, if you if you have to go or whatever, I get it. Uh, but But I'll be right back. So about a minute. Join back here.
Okay, maybe a little over a minute. I don't know. Maybe a little over. I hate it when I leave my old man glasses hanging there. All right. Uh, those who are have stuck around, appreciate it. Okay, so what we were doing... What we were doing was we are working on, like I said, taking the Be Right Back scene, right? Which is this graphic right here. Uh, and we are, we are updating these text layers down here, which if you'll notice, like it, it, all says 8 p.m. here, but when you go to Be Right Back, it says off and then 8 0 0 and, and 8 p.m. or whatever. Because we're connecting those, we're connecting those text blocks via a data source. A data source, which in this case is a Google Sheet. I think I do want to change the format of these. I don't like the format. I think I just want it to be plain text. Just plain text. Right, so that we're gonna plain text. There's probably an easier way to do this, plain text. All right, we're gonna take this, I'm gonna control C. And that hope that hopefully if I, now that I've changed that right, it should change my be right back to yeah, just eight p.m. now back to eight p.m. Yeah, yeah. Be sure to hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate that. So yeah. So now I need to go and continue. Oops. Wow. Ouch. I need to let me close these down. We need to continue to uh, connect our times, right? Wednesday, right? Go to my data source. It's showing me all these other ones that are not in there anymore. I think I deleted them. Auto, we want it to start time. We want to select three which is uh wednesday data source stream schedule i wish you could uh uh i wish you could Do that. Uh, apply to all fields in this title. There we go. That's what I'm looking at, right? Nice. Cool. So I think that's what I want to do, right? I want to apply to all fields in this title. Right, we're gonna uh, do the data source auto selected. I'm gonna sit okay, right? But I still gotta go to each one data source because we're not gonna. That's got this. Oops. 
that yeah that yeah I still got to go to each one and uh I still got to go to each one and change, you know, other parameters. Like we want the start time. Uh, that one's going to be, that's day four. So that's eight. Friday is going to be start time five. Okay. And then data source auto, the column is start time. And that's going to be six. Last but not least, Sunday, seven. All right. So now if I go back to my Be Right Back screen. We have all my off days are in there, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then my stream schedule is in there. That should not say Monday, though. That should not say Monday. So let me go fix that. Let's go fix that. Time zone text should not say Monday. Because there should be no data source, right? None. Okay. Did that fix it? Not really. Reload. Monday. Let me let's go back out to the title designer. All right. File. Save. Yes. Wait. I don't know what I just did. Scenes, reload. All right, we wanna, we gotta fix that, that uh, Monday, the Monday. So let's go back to our titles, right click title editor. Title editor. I think I think what I need I think I just need to go uh uh, CST, right? I mean, that's what I need to do, right? There we go. All right. I think that did it. So let's go, let's go pull up the actual CST. All right. We're good. Yeah. There we go. Simple. But why? Why is that my black? Uh, why is that black box there? Probably because file. Yeah. We're gonna turn that off. Then we're gonna go file save. Then reload. There we go. All right. Be right back is done. Couple other titles. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mess with these other titles without using the actual overlay, and just mess with them in the title. Uh, one of them being the the start. Yeah, one of them being start right. Because what we want to do in our start screen.
is what we want to do on our start screen is get rid of uh, the schedule here. The, you know, this is all built in text. We want to match what we did over. You know, over in our be right back. We want to connect that data to that schedule. And we might also do something else, right? Because we got a start time, but let's add end time. End time. If there's no end time, it should be blank, but I usually quit around, you know, we're going to, uh, format these as text, plain text, right? 10 PM. So. Ten PM and then we do oh to my drawing board. What do you mean my drawing board? like the scene I'm on right now. Like to stream what is on screen. Like that, this, this. I don't necessarily have a specific end time. I try to limit, like, usually on the weekends, it's like I limit it to two hours. Uh, or, or yeah, I usually limit it to, like, 10 o'clock. A.M. or P.M. I'm not, are you asking the right question? What When you say drawing board... What are you asking? Like what you're seeing on screen where I'm messing with stuff? You can't see anything currently. Boom. Where am I? What am I on? Did I press the wrong button? All right. Uh, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. All right. So like now, do you mean drawing board like this where I've got, you know, an application up in the window. Because I want to make sure I answer that question correctly. Hey, are YouTube not receiving enough? Is it really being chunky for you guys? Right, so, okay, so I'm gonna pull up Photoshop, right? Photoshop, boom.
you know. So you're 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 asking you're asking like what um what image editing software I use? Because if that's what you're asking, like image editing software. You may be, you may be. To create, to create my images, right? You're basically you're asking how to share the screen, right? How to share what I'm doing, right? If I'm, I guess I'm, thanks. Thanks, Jason. Cool. Wait, did Michelle say she's leaving? Okay, girl, we need to go and take care of some stuff. Enjoy the stream. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, everyone. See some of you on Monday. No, you won't. Uh, there will be no show on Monday. The next show is on maybe Tuesday. Oh, I've got a big mouthful of cashews. Okay. Yes. Yes to what? Yes, you want to know how I share my screen. Yes, you want to know what software I use to create artwork. Yes to all of the above. Not how to share my screen. What I use for creating artwork. I use uh, I use a variety of programs, right? I use. Okay. I need to put this in the uh, start music rotation. Really, that's what I need to do. I meant to do that. I guess while I'm thinking about it. All right, we are back. Lori, the code word is squirrel. If you heard the code word just now, Type it in chat. Type the code word I just said in chat. Close enough. 
The screen was white. Okay. I've been using I've been in GT Title Designer. This is what this is, GT Title Designer. This one. <sighs> A lot of squirrels in chat. But just squirrely people. Well, here. You can't see. There you go. I've been using uh, GT Title Designer. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. I apologize. I should have said um, Rosebud. Rosebud. Is this the screen you're talking about, Lori? Yes. This is, uh, yeah, in vMix. This is a part of vMix. Um, Canva, the, the free version of Canva is is what you would really want if you're if you're looking something to kind of create these kind of graphics. The problem with using Canva is that you cannot do transparencies. Um, transparencies as in output. You know, if you wanted to make. Transparent background images. My nose, my nose. There is, uh, let's see. Let's go on a, a little, uh, okay, let's go with uh, Photoshop. All photo shoot, photo shoot alternatives. All right, here we go. Top free Photoshop alternatives. For 2022, the best free. Photoshop alternatives. I I don't I don't think you can output transparency. For example, for example, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Because Jason's like, it's I'm going on another. Uh bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay. What was it? Uh, frame. You, you can use frames, right? Round frame. Well, rectangular frame. All right, we have this rectangular frame, right? What was the way you could knock that out?
Yeah. Because you, you, you cannot create... Now, I could take away the background... I could come in here. I can. I think I could. Can I change the background? I think I could. You're supposed to be able to change the background somehow, right? Change the background. I can change it to a background like green, right? But then I can go in here and and grab. Uh, you know my pretty face. I can remove this background. in canva right all right all right detach from background i'm right, going to detach that from background Yeah, I'm just, I'm not looking, I'm not seeing anywhere where you can actually, yeah, you can't do that, you, you can't. All right, maybe you can't, all right, transparent background here. So let's try that, let's try that. I think what I'm thinking is like, download as a transparent background. All right. Okay. You're right. You are right. You are right, Jason. You can. You can do a transparent. Yeah. Uh, I think what I'm getting confused about is. Yes. What I was getting confused about before is. In Canva. There is not a way to like. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Elements, rectangle, so I have this rectangle here, right, but I, I, I want, I want to take the rec, oops, I want to take this rectangle, right, I want it to clip my background so that the back so that the original background shows through there is no way to do that that i'm aware of right cuz what david loves to do right what david likes to do is he finds a background that he likes, right? And then he wants to cut this out. So what a lot of times what he does is he'll take this and then, you know, we'll set this to like green, right? Why is my nose, my nose is running. Ah, ah. He'll set it to a color and then he'll download it.
and then you bring it into like Pixlr. No, 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 no. You're good. You're yeah. You. This is what this is what this channel's all about, man. This is what we're all about here. You know, exploring possibilities. Okay, I I, well, I was just killer. I got confused because David likes to create overlays, uh, and create cutouts, right? So that his uh. You know, he can overlay it over the camera. And that's not possible to do in Canva. But you are correct in that you can create transparent backgrounds when you download them. So you are correct in that. So I was I was uh, incorrect on that. You can, however, take frames, right? You can go in and... Uh, Create frames. We'll take that one, right? And go in and drag things into fr into the frame, and then you've got this nice, uh, you know, cutout, right? Oh, there's a camera thing. Look at that. Look. Go back to my uploads. So I gotta. <laughs> we will. We will. We will. So, can I mean, Canva has a free version, and it's uh, you know, it's not a bad tool, and it's online. All right, so let's go with the free first. All right, dark, dark table. So dark table is an open source image editor that offers the ability to process raw files. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Non-destructive editing like you have in Photoshop. Uh, tethered shooting. So this is kind of an advanced, uh, advanced uh, program. The software is often marketed as Lightroom Alternative because the interface is so similar. Uh, it was created for photographers. By photographers, it is limited in functionality compared to Photoshop. Okay, so that might not be the what what you're looking for. So Darktable. Sounds like Darktable is more for... Uh, taking pictures and then... Yes, Blender also is pretty good. It, it was more of a 3D rendering tool, but uh, GIMP. All right. Now, here's your first. This is, this is like an open source Photoshop alternative, GIMP. Okay. So, Lori, that is, if you want something close to Photoshop, GIMP is a, uh, it's been around a long time. Uh, it's, and it's always being updated and supported. Probably lots and lots of uh, tutorials that you'll find online for that. Uh, it has a paint feature like paintbrush tools, pencils, airbrush, custom brushes. You have transform tools. Editable text layers, color correction. You can do some animations. You have layer masks, layers, mask, curves, levels. Yes, we are. Because we were waiting for you, Kevin. Sorry, my nose is just going crazy. Yes, GIMP. GIMP. Here. Here. Gimp.org. We did. We missed you. 
We always miss you, Kevin. Don't ever forget that. So GIMP is an alternative. Again, Pixlr, right? Pixlr X. I don't believe I've seen him. So you've got Pic Pixlr X as another uh, alternative. You can rotate, flip, straighten images, crop using one of several presets, uh, filters, text tools. Uh Paint.net, I'm not even going to cover that because, I, you know, it was an alternative to uh, Krita. Create shortcuts, uh, brush. You got brush. What is it? Uh, very similar look and feel to Photoshop. Customizable interface. Supports most PSDs. That's cool. Includes advanced layer management. Brushes, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I've never messed with it. Uh, Photo P is another one I've heard of. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say Photo P, maybe. Uh, today, um, we were in the middle of basically going ar going around, Kevin, to all my different uh, Be Right Back screens or wherever I have a schedule and attaching – I created another uh, – well, I created another table, a stream schedule right taking that stream schedule blah, 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 blah. well i was going to say on my my start screen my be right back and my end screen all have uh my stream schedule so we took this graphic and all these uh, down here, these text blocks down here, we connected those to a database so that when I go to and and then uh, or the data, you know, the data source. So that now when I go to be right back, it shows my stream schedule there at the bottom, which is attached. No. No, I am not. I'm just demonstrating that that is now, this schedule now is attached to this data sheet with my start time. And then what I was going to go do for my, uh, like my uh, start title, for my start title, I was going to go over here and create my schedule here so that I could update that on that sheet. But Lori, Lori got us distracted, so we're answering a question for Lori. We're uh, we're we're answering questions for Lori. Uh, she wanted to know what some good alternatives to um, Photoshop were. So we have Photo P. So, so far you got GIP, Pixlr, and Photo P.
Uh, I'm not familiar with Photo Pro Pose Pro. Uh, but man, this guy's really, it's like Photo Pro Pose Pro is a complete image editing suite rivaling the expensive Photoshop software when it comes to enhancing photos and creating stunning pieces of art. Magic Eraser, that's cool. Add frames, collages, tons of pre-designed extensions, uh, customer support, but is it free? Has beginner and advanced modes. Oh, it's not loading. Best free photo editing sub. Wow. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it has a premium edition. So it has a free version and a paid paid version. So certainly you might, you know, be aware of that. Welcome audience, what audience? And imperfect streamer. Because you know he'll be here. I just have to say his name. Sumo paint. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. Is it only, is it a Mac one though? What? Oh, Laura, you didn't have to do that. But thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I would not. I would not. Uh, yeah, Sumo Paint requires Flash, has page. I wouldn't even worry about that. I, I'm gonna say that the, that what I, what we covered there is uh, that should be enough. That should be enough to get you started. That, that should be enough to get you started there, Lori. That's a big canvas, though, Interfleet. It's usually a big canvas. Also, uh, uh, um, Uh, Jason was mentioned in Blender, right? Blender. So I'll put that here. Now understand Blender. Blender started out as a, an open source 3D animation tool. Okay. 3D animation tool. I have seen a lot of people now, you know, touting it as a, uh, uh, it's video editing capabilities, it's, uh, image editing capabilities. Uh, and it has been around for a while. But I gotta warn you. I gotta warn you about Blender. It it is. It's. I mean, it is a beefy, beefy tool. It's a beefy tool. It is one of those programs that I want to dive into, but. 
you know, you will not see me for a year if I do. Yes, Blender, you, you can, you, people pretty much, that's the only, you know, for doing, yeah, you have a beefy tool, Mike. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, Mike. It's certainly not your brain. It's certainly not your brain. That's that's that that's your problem. Because because if you actually had a brain, you after you had a brain, you would have come up with something way original, way more original to you know troll with than that. That's that was kind of pathetic. Probably pretty much like your beefy tool. So try to be original when you troll me here, man. Just Jesus. I mean, the, the 80s are calling. They want their jokes back. What was that? What was that? Anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blender is free, but it, it's it's got a lot of stuff in it. So I would I would highly suggest looking at those others uh, first. You know, first. Um, there are a few others. Affinity Photo has a free trial. Uh, a lot of content creators are have switched over to Affinity Photo. I I enjoy the eighties myself. Uh, there's Procreate if you have an iPad. Hey, under I get it. We we get it. Like I said, we already covered photo P. Um, ooh, Steph. Is Steph still here? Did she did she duck out? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have Procreate. I, I, folks really love that. I mean, I've just got to, uh, and that's one of the things. It, I'm, I would really like to up my actual art game, and I'm looking at a few things. Uh, Rebel, right? The best Photoshop alternative for image traditional painting, right? Because don't you you paint, right? Well, I have an iPad, Jason. Uh, a small an iPad Mini. It's it's old. So I'm gonna I'm going to link this. That's okay. I I'm terrible at drawing. Well, that that I don't and you do traditional though, right? I mean, you you don't do digital, right? You're you're all. 
traditional media, right? Uh, Jason asks, uh, what did you design the animated backgrounds as? I, I am an After Effects guy. All right, I use Adobe After Effects. Uh, to create my motion graphics. So anyway, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna link to uh, those other. Um, this other list, which GIMP is on this list too. So's uh, Pixlr. Right. That should be enough to kind of just, you know, get your brain kind of really, 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 really going, right? All right. All right. So we've got this. I'm going to say let's file save. So let's get back to updating file. Uh, let's do the stream end. And I do believe, yes, all of these are, and I actually, uh, Monday time, let me just do some quick cleanup here. YouTube, right? My YouTube. Let me, uh, okay. If you go to my YouTube channel, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel and I have some playlists, uh, you'll see some recent work, um, gallery of work, and I have promos and trailers, motion graphics, and commercial client work. Catch you later, Lori. I used to work for a local TV station, and uh, a lot of this stuff is what we, uh, what I've did over the years. I've got a whole big old. Uh, somewhere somewhere I've got a big old DVD thing full of just DVDs there it is right, yeah. Where did I, somewhere with a lot of work
Yeah, what is a DVD? Yeah. Where is your audience? The guys are popping out of the woodwork these days. But I've got a few playlists there that uh I've done promos. Uh, let's see what else promos trailers uh, the commercial I've done client work for commercials Nice. Let's keep going down the rabbit hole to finishing up this. All right, so. I got a ton of more stuff, but I just, you know, I haven't had time to. get it up there all right so we have all our 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 time monday oops monday why is the monday time down at friday that is friday okay fry all right friday uh fry to fry Fry two. That is Tuesday. That is Mon Monday. Thursday is on Thursday. Monday, Tuesday. Thursday. Where's Wednesday? That's Wednesday. Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There we go. Just for clarification, are you editing in vMix right now? I am. I am in vMix right now. I am editing in GT Title Designer, which comes with vMix. With Title Designer... Right, you can, and it's very, it's, it's, it's powerful yet uh, simple. 
Correct. This is a, this is it is a it comes with VMix. If you get VMix, uh, if you get VMix, GT Title Designer comes with it. Uh, you don't have to have VMix open to use it. It, it is it is a standalone program. Yes. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it is very limited, right? As you can see, it, it you could put text, you can do rectangles, ellipses, triangles, you know, of varying sizes. You can pull in images. Uh, th you know, you can use 3D text. You can create a ticker. Some back QR codes, but I'm not going to mess that. N no, not necessarily. All right. You can edit text. Here, let me start from scratch. All right. Let me do let me do this for you, right? Let me do this. New, right? I'm gonna get I'm gonna do a new one. All right. So you can start a graphic, a title, because that's what they are. you you are creating titles that you can use graphics in, right? Yes, you can pull in graphics like I can click on image and then I can pull in this text bar, right? Text bar that I created in Photoshop, right? The only thing I can do with this is is uh, change the size. Uh, I think can I think we can crop it right can we crop I think yeah there's a way to crop it with uh, putting it in a layer I believe correct so I I am I imported a single image in. I can go to the layer, I can click on the layer, I can then use that layer because each, you can create layers that contain as a container for images. So I've got this layer, I'm gonna unlock it. I am then going to crop, you can crop it with the layer, right? Like that. I'm going to I'm going to delete this layer or delete this image, right? Cuz when you when you open up an image, you, it it starts out with with a layer. So I'm just going to I'm going to undo all the way out. Uh I go in and create uh layouts in Photoshop, right? So I'm going to, for example, here's a, this is one of the call out templates I did before, right? It's at the size that I want it. 1920 by 1080. I've got all my elements separated on layers as rasterized layer files. I can then go back to GT Title Designer. Go to File, Import, P, 
PSD. No, I don't want to save it. I can then go to the callout template that I saved as a Photoshop file, open that, and it has pulled in all those Photoshop layers onto their own layer. And I can turn them off, right? They are all in the home layer. You can add another layer. So say I want to take my profile pic. Uh, I can add it into another layer. Or, or. I can select my icon bar and my profile pic by control clicking, right click those. I can then create a group layer and it'll create the group layer at the size of, of, of the, the, yeah. So I can just control, I can now then shut off that layer, right? One of the things, and Interfleet, if you're still here too, one of the things uh, that I was doing, which I was getting very confused on, was I would pull in this profile pic, and then I would try to, um, I would try to uh, attach the uh, VMix social profile pic to this one and it won't work that way it, it it won't let me do it it won't let me do it so if you're if you ever like create a photoshop file right and then you want to attach the profile pic and the source which is is like where you're getting your chat from like youtube or or um uh facebook or 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 twitch um like let's just pretend that the logo is where I want my uh, want my icon to show up for the source. You know the the where it's coming from for chat. You you have to delete those. Let me pull that down. All right, oh, where'd you go? I don't know why it decided to go up there, but okay. Wait. Profile pick. Kanji. All right, now we're back. Uh, you have to delete the the whatever was in the Photoshop file that you want to use because for some reason, it won't let you connect. It won't let you connect those to what you imported with the Photoshop file. So what I had to do was go in to image and I created a, a, a for placement image. And then let's say that's where my icon, my icon is going to be. You would name that source. And then I pull in another image, you know, that same one, basically, I just got to and I'm going to put that in, we're going to call this, you know, profile layer there. And then this is the uh, L3rd. What, and one of the things you get that sometimes happens is... What is that? Let me get rid of that. That delete. Yes. 
like I can't see my image. It's because it's up here somewhere. So you have to like pull it into the bigger one. Scale it down to fit within that that other layer and then drag it back up. Or actually I'm wrong, I guess. Wait, nope. Ugh. Image. I want image. Image, drag that back up to icon bar to that profile. Then drag it to the top. Okay. Maybe okay, Kevin, what am I doing wrong? All right. What am I doing wrong? Wait, that's icon bar. I don't want I yeah, my icon bar is there. I've got that image. What does it do? Is it is it put it what is it doing? Why is it not? showing up all right let's delete that i'm going to delete that image with profile i'm going to hit image there we go all right make sure you are have the layer selected that you want the image to go into you'll have to do some uh scaling And there's probably an easier way to do that, like up at format. You can go to like, you know, 100 by. One hundred. All right. One hundred. One hundred. There we go. And then you can go in and, uh, you know. fix that all right so just remember when you pull in a photoshop file that you're going to use with with vmix social and you have an image uh you know Awesome, awesome. Uh, so Dave's David's gonna go live today at some point. So just letting you know, letting everybody know. Da, 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 da. I draw and paint just about anything. Not very good at faces. I just this is. I used to surf and bodyboard and have a kind of wild style using lots of blues and purples. Oh, nice. Right. I'm going to, uh, let me pull that up. Let me pull up the, uh, cause I did the full screen comment. Um, so as, as you see, cause I created this in Photoshop. And here's what it looked like in Photoshop. So I have an icon and the profile pic, but when I would pull that into, when I would pull this image and then try to attach, you know, the, the source to the, the, uh, the icon and then the profile, it, it wasn't working because for some reason it wasn't detecting um, it, w it, it doesn't detect so I have to pull them I have to go back out or in, in GT title designer I, and then I had to uh, delete them and then pull in a, a new image right does that make sense 
Yeah. Source or the profile pic, right? From photo. From photo. In fact, here is, uh, a, if you're not familiar with it or you may already be familiar with, um, right? Title mappings is what I'm I'm referring to. Title mappings. Right? So if you, you go to your, your VMix social, you have edit title mappings. I've pulled in my comment highlight, right? But you have to go into your title, right? You create your title. You've got to name. You've got to name uh, each of your elements according to that mapping that, that I just linked, right? You know? You have message, which is going to show the message. So that's what your text box is going to be mapped to. Message. And stop me if you already know this. La, la, la. Yeah, so refresher course, of course. Okay, so yeah. You link it to your message. Move this over a bit. So message is, uh, yeah, your message. Uh, I'm only using uh, source, which source is the icon representing the origin of the content. So that's where, yeah, Twitter uh, well, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook icon will come up. That's pulled from VMix Social. Uh, from photo, right here. From photo is uh, the profile photo of the submitter. So, so in practice, right? I'm going 
go to vmix social. Pull up your comment. There you go. But yeah, so any 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 of the fields in vmix social that has to do with an image in the title mappings yeah spaces seem to be uh an issue so i always use underscores Time is it? It's uh eleven twenty eight. I promised my kid we would go to lunch, so let's wrap wrap this up a bit here. I'm gonna uh go back and um let's see. File open. We want to go back to uh stream end. Right. Stream end, and I'm going to I need to do two things, right? I think for the moment, I'm just going to leave the start times, right? The start start times in there and not mess with the end times, but we want to link that to those. So we've got that set up. We need, we need to go back into vMix itself and, and into the title the title editor right so i'm in that's my start title i want is this my start no this is my this is my in in stream title so let's go back to the uh where are you stream end graphics going to title editor there we go pull this over i'm going to shut this down to, so that everybody's not seeing a bunch of clutter let me go find my my sheet there it is there's my sheet so i wish there was a, you got to select everything i guess uh I don't want to do that. I'm going to have to go one at a time. Let's just do one at a time. All right. So data source, we're going to connect that to the URL. We're going to connect that then to uh, the stream schedule. That is going to go to start time. Then we're going to select one. Okay. And then again, on down the line, we're going to go to, uh, and Kevin, if there's a easier way to do this, I would love to know. You know, way to oh, hot wings. That sounds really good. Ah, damn. Social, we want a uh, stream schedule. We want uh, uh, start time. We want uh, we're on three. Okay. Four. Five, six. I said six, not sex. Yeah, 
Yes, please. As Austin Powers would say. Seven. Okay. Seven. Yes. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes. All right. Reload. All right. So there we go. We have... Uh, I'm off on Mondays, um, 8 p.m. I need to, I need to, why does that say 8 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday? We need to fix that so that A, 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 all right. And look, it updated the 8 a.m. there already. It's going to, and 8 a.m. there too. So now everywhere it should say 8 a.m. So, all right, we got one more, one more to do, one more to do, and then we're going to call it a day. So, uh, we did the stream, and let's do our stream start. Um, wait, oh, let's do one other thing while we're thinking, while I'm thinking about it. I should really... I should really uh, look at um, compart, you know, compartmentalizing. Grim Skull. Uh, Gr Grim Skull is my uh, gamer tag. Um, way back. Okay, like this is this is the early nineties. Early nineties. <laughs> early nineties. When I was a security guard, security officer, whatever you want to call it, at the local university, locking up labs, getting into you know, get from, getting to know the computer design, computer uh, programming students, computer science. Uh, thank you, bless me. Um, the computer science majors uh, who were always on this thing called the internet, which at the time was just uh, you know. Uh, not what it is today, of course. You know, the web was just gray background, black text, and maybe a box picture here and there. Uh, online gaming was nothing but Zork-style text. Uh, uh, but they were able to program it so it was multiplayer, right? Multiplayer. You had what's what are called mucks, mushes, and moos, which are all like multi-user shared hallucinations. Uh, you know, multiplayer online, something or other. Now I'm curious. What are mucks, mushes? Moo. Your mom. That's what I'm talking about. Your mom. Yeah, muds, mushes, moos, right?
multi-user dungeon. You know, then there were several types. There was like a you know, multi uh, multi uh, user shared hallucination, but they're all based on code bases. Thank you, Reddit. A lot of these, uh, uh, a lot of these, um, you could probably run on your local machine. Anyway. How about uh, popular muds? Discworld was one that I, I frequented. I think I would. I was. I went to the Dragon Realms. anyway so back in the day that was you know you had those right the, these these zork style multiplayer multi-user dungeons you know uh i my first username was skull just randomly skull sounded good it's kind of edgy um you know as you join others you know, usernames began, you know, hard to find. So, you know, when I joined one, I was, I was like, you know, what's a, you know, what's a variation on that? What can I use? And there was uh, like Grim, the Grim Reaper, right? I was like, the Grim Reaper has a skull usually is so, and then you couldn't get Grim Reaper anymore. And so I've then ended up going grim skull g-r-i-m s-k-u-l-l but then that was like you know that then you know you even that was easy for people to think about getting so i ended up you know changing that to g-r-y-m s-k-u-l-l grim skull uh one of the first uh one of the first like graphic based uh online you know MMOs that I played was Dark Age of Camelot and that was that solidified me as Grim Skull cuz I started using it a f you know for any My real first name is Derek D E R E K which is the correct way of spelling it But if you call me Derek on here, I, it, it will be like you are calling me a foreign name because I won't, I won't, it's like, you know, only, only close friends and family here, you know, um, <laughs> would I recognize them calling me Derek, Derek, because squirrel yes no worries no worries that's 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 where the name comes from and but i have to thank Dave. The, the reason you know me as grim skull here in this community and online as my online persona is when i uh when i joined the community david's community when it back when it was the creator's guild um that was one of my first questions because when i when i decided that i wanted to get into content creation uh i i was like you know i mean david foster was the impartial geek and that's how people referred to him as impartial geek and i was like should i go that route you know I mean, this sort of stuff is great for if you're like an entertainer or on gaming on Twitch or whatever, which at the time that was mainly where I was doing at, you know, 
because when I got into this, I was, it was more of a hobby and I was just kind of uh, doing it more of, uh, you know, I, I did it on Twitch and I was gaming and, you know, I knew I was not going to like, you know, do anything being a gamer on Twitch. It just wasn't going to happen. Right. It just, it's, it's a uh, joyful skull. <laughs> yeah. <the> same way. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin is a madman. You're a, you're a madman. Uh, but anyway, so that was one of my questions to David was, what, what do you think? Do you think, you know, should I go by, you know, Derek Moore, motion graphic artist? You know, Derek Moore, motion graphic artist. Or, or should I stick with the username I have? You know, because I was going to start my channel. You know, should I should I stick with use? Should I use Grimskull as a unique branding, a unique way of branding myself? You know, in 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 the realm of motion graphics and graphics design, and as a content creator, really, right? Because not I, I'm not just a guy that sits there and designs graphics. I get on and I stream. I stream about designing graphics. I stream about other things too, but I stream about, you know, graphic design, motion graphics, streaming graphics, stuff like that. Am I a big time influencer? No, not at all. M MMG? Well, I was going to go by Derek Moore motion graphics. That, that was way long. That was too long. But anyway... Besides, uh, Grimskull Graphic Sensei is, you know, has a nicer ring to it, right? You know, super awesome pixel pushing samurai, or Grimskull, the super awesome pixel pushing samurai, works better. You know, and and I found I found the uh, showdown template from Nerd or Die. And, and chose the magenta and blue colors. Uh, you know, to use. And so I, I built the branding off of that. I created my logo, the skull, right? That thing. And uh, it seems to be working, right? Somewhat. You know, so that's that's how it came to be Grim Skull as the cre yeah you know, the the content creator, right? There you go. So there's there's that 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 threw some knowledge on you. Saps. Hey, you know, uh. I am happy in, in the pond I'm in at the moment. I am happy, in, uh, you know. Um, I do get to work with a big influencer in the content live streaming community, right? Um, I've met some just awesome people who have helped me on my journey by sharing their knowledge with me and hopefully I am able to, you know, give them something back in, in like folks like Kevin Michael Reed. I, I mean, I, Kevin really doesn't understand. <laughs> Maybe he does. I don't know how much, you know, Kevin has become really a great friend. Like, you know, earlier he was talking about, he needed to pack, he's packing. So I was like, God damn, I wish I was over there. Cause I would get up right now. If, you know, if, if it was within, you know, an hour or two drive, I would go over and help Kevin pack. You know, I wish I could get over. I wish we lived closer. Cause I would, I would just, I would drop what I'm doing and head over there. Cause I'm not doing anything today, you know, other than streaming. Kevin is become one of my, my greatest friends here in this community. It, it, it just, 
you know. That's my perspective of it. I could just be like just that dude grim to him, which is fine. You know. But Kevin has been a great sounding board for me, along with our friend Joseph Clough, who's also a content creator. I stand on the shoulder of these giants doing what I'm doing right now because of them. You know, and even when we're talking about other content creators in the in our community, you know, uh, Alex from the Politics Show, uh, you know, Matt from uh, um, um, everything. You what? What? What is it? Uh, uh, dang it, the YouTube stuff. What is this channel name? Can't believe it. Xanthi, you know, Xanthi, one my sis, my sis from another miss. All things YouTube, that's what it is. My brain's not firing on all cylinders. All things YouTube. I mean, you know, when I joined this community and saw what was capable, what people were capable of, you know, in their content, it it. It put me on that path of, I want to do this. I want to do this. And I've been able to become a part of a team of people uh, that is allowing me to be able to do this. You know, now, now, am I making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of branding and my, you know, I only have a lot, you know, you, YouTube videos that are stream. I haven't done a lot of, you know, video content, but I, for myself, but I have done video content for David. Because that is part of my job as being on his team, you know, assisting with his graphics. I'm helping Kevin with, with his, his branding, which yes, need to get off our asses, off my asses and get on the ball with that. Uh, I have other people that, you know, Thirty-six subs means nothing to me as far as the stuff that Kevin Michael Reed does. Okay, it it is the live events. If you have not sat there and watched, yes, the Kevin is a master trainer or just a master. He should teach a master class. On a, you know, event streaming for channels and stuff. The depth of knowledge, practical knowledge that he has is invaluable. And I can't thank him enough. He, he's, he's given me, you know, bought me sushi, done that stuff. Not deserved. Not deserved. I should refund it all. In fact, I probably will. But the give and take with with my circle of creator, you know, my my content creator friends here. Uh is invaluable. Yeah, you can uh, you, you can find Kevin Michael Reed. Here. Okay. I'll get off my rant, my rant, my ranting. Let's uh I think we have, did, did we finish up? This is the end stream, file, save. Okay, file, save. I want to get rid of this. Okay, let's get rid of that image. And then we're going to go and back to where was that? Where did I, I think I know, I, where did I put that? I put that somewhere. Yes.
if you if you go to my channel right and you go down i i think i i've linked somewhere i know i have um youtube my channel There we go. Thank you. And there's the man himself, David Foster, the original live streaming pro. Uh, who will be streaming later later on. Oh, Kevin. There we go. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I keep forgetting to use my my web my web screen so David doesn't yell at me. Carnivore, yeah, I'm. I want. I I need some, some beefy food. Okay, let's get on back on track here. I was going to pop ups and grab this right here, and then uh, let's resize it. There we go. I'm going to move that up there and move that. And then I want to take the color. All right. I've already got that color in there. So I just need to click on the text block two and then select that color. Boom. Now you can see it. Let's pull it down. I'll, I'll go in and kind of mess with it. I just want to get that out of the way. Cause it's going to like, like David, uh, who doesn't have OCD, but probably, probably does. Uh, I, I do sort of two, it's just not as bad. I oh, know, I oh, know. So now we want to go over to our, our uh, we got Monday, that's good. Tuesday, we're good. When Wednesday's spelled wrong, when, when, whatever, I don't want, yeah, okay. Thursday, okay, we are in order, it looks like. So there we go. All right. All of those are good to go. I could probably, you know. Update that with some data sources, but. Dang. Dang. We were eating squirrel, rabbit, bison, etc. Yeah. uh file save all right so we've got this one we've got all our um we've got our text in there so we don't need that anymore we need to go uh to the title and that's the end one let me reload that let's get out of that screen um, what graphic was I just working on? Dang it. Dead nabbit. Yeah, stream end. Reload. 
Did I save it? I know I saved it. All right. It's vexing me. It's vexing me. All right. Let's do this. General, Let's change, recent, stream end, okay. Yeah, yes, yes, I can. And I also, I created like a, you know, some black, Rectang you know, some rectangles here and there. That is correct. That is a very, uh, shh, shh. Don't give David any ideas in her fleet. All right, there we go. Okay. So I've got uh, got all that set up. We're good to go there. All right. Let's close that. Um, Uh, go to the title editor. We then got to go through that process of data so adding, you know, the stream schedule, and then we want the start time, and then one for Monday. So we're good to go there. And just do this tedious process of. Which again, if if I wanted to go a step further, right? I would totally separate that little that little stream graph that stream schedule graphic, right? I would create its own title for just that part of it. And then pull it into pull it into the the scenes as a layer right and as a layer instead of having to do this on each separate one Well, I'm, uh, at some point I could go back. I may do that, right? I could stop doing it right now and then then, uh, then just, you know, later on do it. So I think that's what I'll do. So we'll just say, fuck it. Fuck the rest of it. <laughs> hey, as someone on stream the other day, right, was saying, this is how you learn things. You do things and maybe it doesn't work or you, you find a better way to do it. And, you know, you know, someone sat here and I was watching him and he was trying to do this stuff uh, with, uh, you know, animations and stuff. But, you know, it wasn't quite working, right? And so, uh, you know, but that's how you learn. You, by doing things uh you know, yourself, and then you'll find better ways to do it next time. And, you know, 
<laughs> so, yes, when I every time I keep doing things, I my you know like the inner fleets, you know, we got our wheels turning right, and we're going. Uh, uh, you know, we get our wheels turning, and we get oh, I could have done it this way, or I can I can do it that way. So that's what I will do. I will go back here, you know, at some at some point and and do that compartmentalize things make components that can then be pulled in to layer things that way but that you know but i had created all these uh correct but i am using it as a way to learn to connect those data sources um you know but I can tell you, some people's stream schedule changes more often than, you know, more often. And it would be useful to, to be able to, you know, change it in one place. You know, just saying. Some people's stream schedule seems to change more often. more often holy cow it's 12 o'clock 12 o'clock we got a rock um daily She used data sources for every single overlay that David does. What? When are you going live? Because I'm might I might miss it, so I have to watch the replay. Are you going live at uh, three or three CST one Pacific? I'm 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 starving at the moment. I am starving. In fact. Okay. Well, then I'm going to wrap up and go get something to eat. Maybe you could hold off for an hour? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. It is Saturday. See? And that's where, you know, that's where the data sources come in. You change his, you know, schedule now to like going live Saturday sometimes. But I, we could, can we go back and look and see how many times uh, do an hour countdown? No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I, I, I do, I am going to go get something to eat though. I'm, I'm sturving. Sturvin Mervin. Sturvin Mervin. All right, I'm, I'm letting my kid know that. Uh... <clears throat> Gonna head to lunch in about fifteen. All right. Okay. Just start that 10 minute timer over six times. These are bonus streams. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we met too, Mike Hunt. I mean, you know, um, uh, joyful skull, um, audience, what audience, um, uh, imperfect, uh, you know, Hey folks, appreciate you being here. Uh, uh, please, 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 please. I keep forgetting it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. Which one is it? Which do I have the right one? Sir, surely I have one somewhere.
let me find it. Uh, no, that's live streaming pro. Uh, that's live streaming pro. Join URL YouTube. Okay, here we go. All right. Be sure to go check out the original live streaming pro, David Foster, uh, who who uh, will be uh, we're doing a bonus stream today. If you found my content useful, found my content useful, many of you have already. It's not required, but uh, if you want to support my channel, you can do that by going to buymeasushi.com. Uh, also, if you want to support me as a content creator, go check out David. Because that, that's the guy that I learned everything. He is the guy that I've learned most everything I know about streaming so far from. With, with also Kevin Michael Reed and the, 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 that creator community. So Dave is going to be doing a bonus stream today. If you want to learn even more about vMix, you know, some pro-level stuff. Go check out David's uh, David's channel. Go subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You got to hold it down and click all, as David likes to rant about, so you get notified. But do the same thing. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button on this video. That helps me out a lot. And hit the notification. And especially, if you want to keep up with You know, me, you can uh, hit my Twitter. That way, in case you miss uh, any notifications on YouTube, uh, I also send out notifications on Twitter. So, anyway, I am Grimskull, the uh, super awesome pixel pushing samurai for uh, the original live streaming pro, David Foster. <coughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> As well as uh, uh, Overland Geeks and Morning Invest. Hit my Twitter. Hit my tweeters. Now he brags on David Foster when he's listening. Yes. Yeah. I know. I do the same thing. I, I forget, you know, I forget, you know, when I'm complaining to Kevin about Joseph Clough. I mean, complaining to. Joseph Clough about Kevin. I mean, I just, you know, I don't know. All right, folks, I'm going to get off here so David can go live. Thanks, thanks again for hanging out with me for these three hours, and I hope you got some out of it. And uh, I will be back tomorrow, 8 a.m. CST. So come join me then. It should be on the schedule that I keep showing. So, all right, folks, uh, I'm going to go get some eat, something to eat. So, peace. <laughs>